Hi, and welcome to my channel. Or if you're a returning subscriber, hello again. It's so nice to see you back for another video. I hope you're all having a wonderful day today. My name is Tess Lark, and this is an art and beauty channel. So if those are videos you're interested in, make sure you're subscribed because I am here for you every single week. And this week, I'm gonna show you how to make these super cute snake earrings. So we are sliding into spooky season. It is one of my favorite times of the year and I'm getting very, very excited. I actually ordered another special little holiday themed item to play around with that I cannot wait to show you guys. I think you're really gonna like it. But I'm so excited to show you how to make these snake earrings. I think that they're very, very cute. They're lightweight and comfortable in your ears. It's a pretty straightforward project and you can really make it your own. Use different pigments, use different combinations of pigments. You could put like little tiny pressed flowers in there if you wanted. You could really make this project your own and it is very fun to do. So without further ado, let's just hop right into this video and let's get crafting. Oh, but really quickly, I do want to go ahead and give a shout out to my Etsy store, which is FragileBeings.com. I will have these earrings listed there along with a wide range of things that I make and sell, um, different jewelry, resin crafts, all that good stuff. And you can also commission me for custom pieces. So that will be linked down in the description along with all the materials that I used to make this project. So if you guys want to try it for yourself, all that info will be down below. And if you do end up liking this video, please make sure to go ahead and give it a like. It not only helps out my channel a whole lot, but it also lets me know that I'm making content that you want to see for me. All right, let's craft. So for today's project, I am mixing up about 50 milliliters of resin and I'm using the Native Fusion resin, their artist resin. Um, again, I'll go ahead and link that down below in the description if you are interested. But I have sped up the footage here, but you just want to make sure that you're working kind of slowly so you're not incorporating too many bubbles into your resin. And make sure that you're scraping the sides and the bottom of your container. And then you're just going to mix to the manufacturer's specifications or until your resin is clear. And I want these to be gold, so I'm using my pinata colors and brass. And I'm just going to go ahead and load that up into the resin and continue to mix that all together. And then once the pigment is thoroughly mixed in there, I like to let my resin sit for about five minutes just to allow some of the bubbles to come up to the surface. And that makes it really easy for me to pop them with my heat gun. So I'm just putting a tiny little bit of resin on the tip of my popsicle stick and using that to drop it into the mold because they're so small that you really wanna take your time and go slow with these. And then for the skinniest part of their tails, I'm just using a little bit of a clipping of a wire, but you could also use something like a toothpick just to make sure that I'm not getting the resin on the outside of the molds. And then once I have the mold completely filled in, I'll go back and just add a little bit more resin in just to try to get them to start doming a little bit so they're not as flat. I know it looks like I'm going kind of quick here, but that is just because that I sped up the footage and it's sped up to four times the original speed. So I'm really working slow here and just going section by section, piece by piece, and just trying to make sure that I get a very clean finished product. hit them with my heat gun once more on the higher setting just to make sure that I've popped any bubbles that might have formed like while I was pouring them. 
And then after that, they're gonna get covered up for the night. And I'm just using like an old cake carrier to cover them. And then I just let my snakes set up overnight. And so they're totally hard and cured. And we will just pop them out of the molds and see how they turned out. I don't know if you can really see on camera, but half of these molds have little scale designs on them, which are really cute, and then the other half are smooth, but I think that they're turning out really nice. Right, and so these all turned out pretty clean. I really took my time making these, just putting in a tiny little bit of resin at a time um, because the first batch that I made, there was a little bit of run over and it was kind of hard to clean up just because these pieces are so small and delicate. But the next step is just gonna be to put these on little hooks so we can make them into earrings. And for this, I'm gonna be using a resin drill pin vise. And I just got this little pin vise drill set on Amazon. Um, as always, I'll link all the materials down below. So so if anybody wants to try this project for themselves, it'll all be there for you. And I already have my little drill set up. So I've just got one of the smaller tips on it. And then for these guys, I'm gonna go ahead and drill right into the center of their little heads and then attach a jump ring. And to that, we will attach an earring hook. Okay, and so I've got a couple different size jump rings. There's a larger one and a smaller one. And then I also have my earring hooks here. And so what I'm going to do now is use these to attach these little snakes and make them into earrings. I'll show you one of them on camera, but I find that it's easier to lay it flat down on my desk. And that just helps me to make sure that I'm going straight down. And it also helps me to make sure that I'm pretty, pretty well centered. So it's gone all the way through, and now I'm going to go ahead and take that out. And I'm just going to use my pliers to open up the larger of the two jump rings. Now that we have that piece on, we can go ahead and attach it to an earring hook. I'm taking one of my smaller jump rings and opening that up. And then I will connect that to my jewelry or my earring hook. And then that gets connected onto the snake. And there we go, our first little earring. So then I'm just going to go ahead and follow that same process and finish up the other earrings. And so my little earrings are all finished up. And overall, I think that they turned out super, super cute. I also love how lightweight they are, even though they're kind of big and dangling a little bulky. Because it's made out of resin, they're very, very light and feel very like, comfortable in my ear, which I love. Um, so a sad story, two of, two of my little snakes, when I was drilling the hole into them, I accidentally split the side. So I don't know if you can really see that, let me see. So if you can see here, how it's cracked. Yeah, so I 
clearly was drilling too close to the side on this one or I didn't drill in completely straight and that happened to two of my snakes and unfortunately they were both from different pairs so I lost two out of the four pairs from this batch but I'm also fairly new to this technique and this project so I think that with practice it's gonna be easier to get the little hole right in there the first time and also because these only take like a very small amount of resin I'm not too stressed out about it like if it if I had taken, you know, 300 milliliters of resin only to fail, then that would be kind of a bigger bummer just because the resin is not cheap. But these just take such a little bit that I'm not too worried and I will definitely be making more of these. Overall, I think that this project is super adorable. I love these earrings for fall and I will definitely be listing them in my Etsy along with making different colors. I've got some other pigment powders that I want to try in these, like this one that's kind of like blue and purple and I think that that would be really really pretty. Um, if you want to see my process video on those let me know and I will probably film it for you guys. Another thing that another thought that I just had about the holes not being completely straight and some of them splitting which resulted in me losing pairs of earrings I also think that probably investing in an electric drill will make that sort of thing less likely because it's going to be a faster process instead of kind of like twisting and like having the potential to move around. I think it'll be a lot smoother and hopefully then I will not lose any pieces in the future. Anyway, thank you so much for watching this video all the way to the end. It means a whole lot to me and if you did watch this video all the way to the end, would you go ahead and leave me a snake emoji in the comments? Anyway, I appreciate you guys. I love you guys and I will see you in the next one. Bye! Hi and welcome to my channel or if you're a return... <laughs> to another video. It is...